Okay, so I come to you today escorted by twin mad cats, peace through superior firepower, and also at the tail end of a <coughs> cold, so my voice and my nose might be a little uh, uh, sniffly, so forgive me for that. Anyway, and first thing um, I want to go through, I'll get on to the YouTube Heroes thing later, but the first thing was the SpaceX rocket explosion, which I had predicted was going to be due to a failure of a cylinder much like this. This one's actually argon, but helium cylinders that they were using, yeah, they're bigger and heavier and all that sort of thing. But the basic format is the same. It's an oversized, heavy-walled Coke can, um, and you pump gas into it, and they let it out late to fill up the tanks as the fuel drains out and that sort of thing. Um, and basically, they had a, a cylinder like this fail, which overpressured the... Um, or caused a failure in the oxygen fuel tank wall, which then caused the explosion. Um, so that's the conclusion that they came to today. Uh, so, yeah, called it. Um, that doesn't actually help them that much in the, like I was saying, this, there's not much that can go wrong with one of these. Um, so if they're getting their helium cylinders failing, uh, they've got design problems with their rockets. Uh, so um, just knowing what caused the explosion uh, they, they, this is like really simple stuff on the rocketry end is, you know, your pressurized cylinders and um, that shouldn't be failing. Anyway, the second thing that I wanted to get onto was the uh, YouTube Heroes, uh, which is this great idea YouTube's had uh, for allowing people to become heroes by flagging other people's videos. Um, and s shockingly, it's got a 98% disapproval rating on, on the, they're, they're, it's quasi-viral video, it's got like a million views to it, and 98% disapproval. Um, and I, I kind of know where they were going with it, um, and I definitely know why everyone hates it. Um, does that mean there's... Um, there are two ways you can become a YouTube hero. The first is you can flag an awful lot of videos, or the second is you can actually write answers on their forum. Now, of course, the only people who would actually be able to write answers on their forum are kind of probably going to be YouTube creators because they're the people who tend to use it the most. No one else really gives a crap about, you know, how YouTube works. They just care. As, as long as it gives me the streaming videos, who cares? So you could technically become a YouTube hero by writing answers for them. Or the other way that you can do it is you, uh, for every time you get a best answer on their YouTube forum, you get 10 points. For every time you correctly flag a video, you get one point. And to you to get to the top of the scale, I forget however many it is, but um, about halfway up is 300 points. So you've got to flag 300 videos to actually become a hero. And that's just anti... -th I mean, having seen how flagging wars whip up, um, that's just sending so many bad messages that you can become a hero uh, by flagging other people's videos. You don't have to make any, of course. Um, now... This sort of self-policing thing has been tried in several of the forums with um, greater and lesser de degrees of success. So, for instance, with Wikipedia, you can become an admin at some point. Uh, the problem with that is admins tend to make their friends admins, and they can sort of very quickly sort of take over the site, as it were. Um, and so with Rational Wiki, I had this, that, you know, though eventually they sort of kicked off all but about five of the admins, five of the mods, and they now make 80% or something of the actual edits on Wikipedia, Rational Wiki, sorry. And, oh, God. Um, so it, it becomes an echo chamber very quickly. Now, that's not what YouTube's doing here, right? YouTube is, it's, it, it holds the whip at all times. No one gets to... Uh, you can only become a YouTube hero by pleasing 
uh, YouTube. Basically, you have to become their bitch, um, which is one of those bizarre things that who, I mean, I can see why people might want to become creators, because you can make videos expressing your opinions, doing fun stuff, whatever. There are all sorts of reasons why you might want to make videos. Um, it's kind of pathetic to actually just go around flagging other people's videos and then get to call yourself a hero. Um, and the thumbnail for this is even funny because the thumbnail's got glory written on it. I mean, the glory of um, essentially going around watching videos that you don't like and flagging them for YouTube. Um, who would do this? Now, I think I've got a pretty decent idea of why they're doing it. Um, and it's basically YouTube, you know, from the very start, the model was there is no gatekeeper at the point of entry, right? Anyone can upload basically anything to YouTube. There is no, I mean, now there is, there is uh, there's some, um, whatever, free transform um, identity content filter, right? So there is now something there, notably related to copyright, um, but doing that with actual content is almost impossible. Right, because that means that eyeballs have to watch it and decide whether it actually violates some rules or something. And of course, the YouTube rules are deliberately written in such a fuzzy manner that anything could break the rules or anything can go through them. Um, so the rules mean almost nothing. Uh, the only sensible handle you have on the rules is they're effectively defined by how they're enforced. Right? And that's basically at the discretion of YouTube. They're, they're, they're deliberately vague because if you actually start getting too specific about the rules, first of all, no one will read them. And secondly, people will be trying to game the rules to their favor to get people they didn't want flagged or banned or some shit. <coughs> so um, the rules are deliberately written vague. And what they basically want is... You know, there, there is so much content uploaded to YouTube that their real problem is, how do you know when there's a problem? Uh, I mean, they've, they've got all sorts of automation that helps them out with this, but fundamentally, they need some human eyes watching the system. And obviously, if they pay those human eyes, first of all, it kind of is an awful boring job, but secondly, it's expensive. So they're trying to now get people to do that, uh, essentially uh, human eyeballing the data for them for free and then just calling them heroes. Um, and the rewards are absolutely pathetic. I think by level three you get to mass flag videos, which... Well, that'll make the world a better place. And uh, then once you get up to the top, you get to test some of their, you get to see some of their early apps or something or features. And it's like, come on, these all these people have done is flag videos. What features can they possibly be interested in? Um, so yeah, I mean the, the whole reward system is, it, it offers nothing really for the people who'd be doing stuff like this. Um, I think people's big concern is that uh, people basically game the system. They'll just go around flagging people who they don't like and trying to actually game the system to their advantage. And there's certainly going to be some of that. Uh, but for YouTube, what they want is Show me, right? So, just like YouTube tries to use as much automation as they can to clean up the system, you know, so they got the automated copyright filter when you actually come onto the system, and then they, they, they basically rely on users to, to notify them of offensive content. Um, the problem there is there are all sorts of people trying to game this system for commercial. Uh, well, for commercial gain. And 
So every now and again, you'll see that there'll be a whole spate of things where someone's obviously bypassed the YouTube automated systems. And so um, you know, let me just give you an example. If I actually do a search for my name on YouTube and then rate them by upload, what you'll find is there's playlist after playlist after playlist. And all someone's done is they've written the automation that basically copies someone's playlist, puts a video they want to promote at the front of it, and then then creates that playlist somewhere else. So it's basically, this isn't people doing this. This is people who have wrote, written automation to do this. Um, and yeah, this, this goes back to the earliest days of YouTube, this cat and mouse game. There were people in the very early days where they would like, they would farm, there, wouldn't, there was no sophisticated viewing filters or anything. So you would get people uh, who would basically spam their own videos to get views. Uh, you know, with a, again, with automation, there were these uh, view generators, and then you got vote bots and all sorts of other things. There's continually been this cat and mouse game of people actually writing. In the early days, it was all for personal gain for the actual, um, or for the ego or whatever, of the, uh, the guy making the videos or the girl making the videos. Now it's almost exclusively done for money. Um, and the thing is that whenever someone, the advantage is always to the, if you like, the hacker, the guy writing the code to get past all of this. Because once they've got an automation that works, they can sort of flood the system with this stuff. And then YouTube has to go around and actually create a counter filter to actually stop them from doing all of this. So I think that's mostly what YouTube had in mind with this is that they just want um, people to go around and notify them of the interesting stuff. The thing is that um, it's very difficult to see this working out for anyone in that who would just go around essentially being a unpaid worker for YouTube, flagging videos that might be useful to YouTube. And if they're really good, they'll get to see a custom application for creators on YouTube at some point. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. And of course, it's got absolute I mean, it just feels, I mean, the, the, the second in the middle of this video where they got onto this, once you get up to level three of being a hero, you can mass flag videos. That just sends so much the wrong message. And, you know, there are all these people of nightmares that this is basically going to turn YouTube into a, rather, rather than a, a bloodbath of free speech, it's going to be a bloodbath of flagging wars where they'll be, you know, the, the second it becomes clear that if you join up to this program and get more than 10 points or something, then you can you can get some power to flag people down. Uh, God, um, it'll turn into a shit show overnight. Um, but uh, let's hope that uh, YouTube gets the message. I mean, to actually, I can't remember the last time I saw a video with a 98% disapproval rating ever, right? I think the, the nearest thing that I remember was when, oh, what was he called? Ah, presidential candidate. He, I, I don't think gays should be able to serve in the military, that guy, whose name eludes me. Fuck. Rick Perry, his great line was along the lines that, you know that America's lost its way when Gays can serve openly in the military, but kids can't pray in school. Um, that's the sort of level that you need to get a 98% disapproval rating on YouTube. And I don't think I've ever seen YouTube flay faceplant this badly. So let's hope that, uh, yeah, YouTube gets the message off that.